This is a product video for Avian Denison's V4000 Premium Reflective Wrap Film. And here are the details. Product name and number, V4000, film type, reflective, roll lengths, 50 yards, comes in a variety of different widths, comes in six standard colors with white being printable. There's two different adhesive choices, permanent and LTR. The thickness of the permanent is 5.7 mil and LTR is 7.9 mil. And here are the uses. Valuable product information can be found on the outside of the box, such as color, type of adhesive, roll length, and for warranty purposes, it's important to store the lot number in the job sheets for quick reference. And now, here are the product details. V4000 can be used as is from the factory or printed on. Unprinted has a seven year vertical warranty. Printed has a five year vertical warranty. All types of inks can be used and you can go to this URL to download the right profile for free. Always print on the same lot number for consistent results. Outgas time is 24 hours for solvent and eco-solvent inks, and the recommended DOLs are the 1000 and 1300 series. For some jobs, the V4000 will be used as cutouts. Due to the thickness and reflective nature of the film, it's important to double check the depth of the blade to ensure clean cuts that create professional finishes and help with the weeding process. During the weeding process, note that the permanent version of V4000 weeds like standard cut vinyl films while the LTR version can lift from the liner so take extra precaution during this process. Cutout V4000 should in most cases be pre-masked to help ensure placement and protect the face during the install process. Production should always adjust the pre-mask adhesive strength to the substrate being applied with the V4000. Before rolling up V4000 that has pre-mask, a good tip is to double squeegee to ensure that it stays flat on the liner. If production is printing on the V4000, it is highly recommended to download the right profile in order to avoid oversaturation. Keep in mind that dark colors, especially black, can mute the reflective properties of the V4000. When the printing process has been completed, be sure to outgas for 24 hours before laminating. This will ensure that the adhesive side of the V4000 won't be compromised. When choosing a DOL for the V4000, the 1000 series has a longer warranty, but it is not as conformable as the 1300 series. So the general rule of thumb is 1000 series for flat installs and 1300 series for curves. And here are the install details. Workspace temperature should be between 60 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Standard insulation tools can be used. Keep in mind that the V4000 is directional, so use the logo on the liner to keep everything going in the same direction. It is thicker than standard wrap film, so different techniques can apply. Overlaps should be one inch wide, and the surface energy is high. The V4000 has a high gloss finish that captures the light in unique ways due to its high reflectivity. The adhesive is gray to create an opaque barrier and ensure consistent color. If it is the LTR version for the adhesive, it will be highly repositionable, which makes installs easier, and it will have an air egress feature, which ensures high quality. Unlike standard reflective films that can get brake lines when it's picked back up off the surface, the V4000 won't get these lines. Also, there will not be any adhesive transfer to the surface, which can help avoid costly reinstalls. Another added feature of the V4000 is when wrinkles occur. Wrinkles with standard reflective films will not self-heal as the layers will separate. With the V4000, it can be picked back up, heat added to trigger the memory effect, and the panel can be reapplied with no visible marks. This helps ensure professional results. The V4000 has moderate conformability due to the thickness of the film, which, when laminated, can vary from 7 to 10 mil thick. Also, overstretching can affect the reflective nature of the film. This will cause the overstretched section to darken. If this occurs, the panel can be picked back up and heat added to trigger the memory effect. In most cases, the V4000 will self-heal, but if overstretched, it may not go back to its original appearance. Therefore, it's best to keep it under 10% stretch on curves. If overlaps are needed, it's recommended to make them one inch in order to ensure proper hold for the long term. Because V4000 is a multi-layered film, it's important to make the right relief cuts during the installation process. Standard relief cuts can split into the live wrap area, so it's best to make modified relief cuts, like a J-shape, which tears into the excess area or use an enclosed relief cut by poking a hole, then cut on the opposite side. When applying V4000 as cutouts, it's best to use firm overlapping squeegee strokes with the non-buffer side of a medium hard squeegee. If wrapping areas that have raised objects like this window frame, it's best to make relief cuts in order for the V4000 to lay stress-free on the surface. For edges that have rubber molding or silicone, use a squeegee assist cut in order to get a straight edge, avoid cutting the rubber, and to create a negative gap so there's no contamination during the life of the install. 
When removing the pre-mask, like with standard cut vinyl films, it's best to pull low and flat away from the surface in order to keep the V4000 from pulling off and potentially getting damaged. Once the pre-mask has been removed, it's highly recommended to go over the entire area with the buffer side of the squeegee in order to ensure that all edges are sealed and any bubbles removed. When installing V4000 that has been printed and laminated, it's best to use a brand new buffer in order to get the best results. The LTR adhesive is pressure activated, so be sure to apply a firm pressure and use overlapping squeegee strokes. It's always a good idea to keep the liner on to ensure even tension on the film from side to side. Unlike standard reflective films that have a high initial tack, the V4000 has a low initial tack. This significantly makes the install process easier and more focused. On transitions, it's best to avoid using heat and stretching, but instead make relief cuts. Relief cuts help relax the film and keep it under 10% stretch. Because of the thickness of laminated V4000, it's best to form around corners and stages. First round the corner with a the finger, then squeegee roughly one quarter of an inch or one centimeter to form a tight seal, then continue on with normal application. If there are raised objects like this hinge, it's best to do a tuck and cut. By relaxing the V4000 to the base, it will assure long-term hold and help make a clean cut. Before cutting, always click the blade to ensure that it's sharp. Also, on most edges, be sure to angle the blade in towards the wrap area. This will create a beveled cut on the edge of the V4000 so it will lay flatter on the application surface. This can even include areas where the film was tucked and cut. Keeping the blade perpendicular may leave more film on the edge and this can lift due to the thickness of the V4000. This is why it's important to continuously click the blade to keep it sharp and ensure professional cuts. If the excess film is loose on the edge, use a free hand to pull up and away to create even tension and ensure a jagged free cut. When the section has been completed, it is highly recommended to go over the area with heat to check for bubbles or loose edges. For certain applications, it will be necessary to use cutting tape as cuts directly on the painted surface with a knife are not recommended. Even though reflective film traditionally doesn't cut well with cutting tape, the V4000 will cut very clean. Be sure to pull the line at a perpendicular angle 10 degrees to the surface to create a uniform edge top to bottom. Once the tape has been removed, run a finger or squeegee over the edge to seal it. Here's an example of an edge being cut out at a perpendicular angle. The thickness of the V4000 can lead to possible lifting. Therefore, double check all edges and cut them at an angle in to create the beveled edge. Only a tiny sliver of film will be removed during this process, but it will help ensure long-term hold and no lifting. One very important note to make with V4000 is on applications over rivets. If the installers are using the heat and roll method, this will not work. When heating the film that is bridged over a column of rivets, the V4000 will wrinkle instead of relax. If the V4000 is then rolled, the film will get major wrinkles that cannot be repaired. Therefore, installers should adjust and plan accordingly. This means that instead of using the heat and roll method, the rivets should be formed with a rivet brush. The V4000 is squeegee directly over the rivets, a tiny hole poked at the bottom, heat applied, and the rivet brush forms a tight seal. This method may take longer, but the end results will hold for the long term. And here are the post-install details. Always use standard aftercare products. Avoid using solvents directly on the finish. Post heat temperature is between 175 and 195 Fahrenheit. Cure time for LTR adhesive is 24 hours above 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can reference bulletins 1.20 and 1.50 for more information. Always be sure to post heat any areas that have been stretched past 10% to ensure long-term hold and Wiping down the wrap with Avery Denison aftercare products on a regular basis will help maintain the high reflective finish, and here are the removal details. All types of heat can be used to soften the film during the removal process. Always do so within the warranty period to get the best results. The permanent adhesive version of the V4000 will likely leave significant adhesive residue behind, while the LTR version less than 20%. And keep in mind that the LTR version will remove significantly better than traditional reflective films. Permanent adhesive versions of the V4000 will be more difficult to remove, which will require more time and use adhesive removers, so be sure to schedule accordingly. The LTR versions of V4000 will remove significantly easier than traditional reflective films, and therefore can be scheduled like a normal full print removal using films like MPI 1105. And finally, here's a good shot of how the reflective properties of the V4000 come to life when it's exposed to light. For more information on the V4000, you can go to this URL or Visit these social media outlets for images and news on any other Avery Denison products. This has been a product video for Avery Denison's V4000 Premium Reflective Film, proudly produced by the Rep Institute.